least we got that. And you can read the readout, you know, their summary of his call with Putin was the first thing they did was say, OK, let's get back in the new start treaty. OK, deal. OK, good. And then the rest of the time he attacks him with a bunch of false accusations, yep. hacking in our computers and meddling in our elections, putting bounties on our soldiers in Afghanistan. Charlie Savage's disgrace, CIA's lies in The New York Times from last summer and all of this and read him the riot act over a bunch of lies. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, who knows if Biden even has a clue of how dishonest all of this stuff is at this point. He read it and he read Charlie Savage in the Times and believed it like every other idiot who believed it, I guess. And, and at the time you said that that was to justify staying in Afghanistan, right? Clearly it was. Yeah. They brought it up in November of 2019 in order to stop the deal from being signed then. And then two days before they were going to sign the deal last February. They brought it up again and tried to force the issue into Trump's daily brief and all of this in order to say, oh, Trump had a reason to scotch the deal, but he ignored it and did it anyway. And then luckily his staff kept it out of the PDB so he wouldn't have to go through that bullshit. They went ahead and signed the treaty anyway. And then in the summer, just two weeks or what, a week after Trump leaked. And why would he do this? He's so stupid. He puts out his trial balloon. Maybe I'll go ahead and pull the troops out now out of Afghanistan instead of waiting until next May. And then the next thing you know, what, two days or a week later, something like that, the story's running in the New York Times that, oh, yeah, the Russians are killing Americans or paying the Taliban to kill Americans in Afghanistan. Story's a total hoax. And his editors ended up climbing down from the claims, even if he didn't. You know, he, they revised their story 10 times over, making it less and less and less damaging every time while never conceding that that's what they were doing. And too late. Too late. In fact, as I detail in the book, you'll get to this in the book. I go ahead and barbecue Charlie Savage over this. That Savage says... That his story, he never walked, he never walked back his story. He never climbed down from his story because his story is still correct. Not that the Russians killed Americans, paid to kill Americans in Afghanistan. He's not saying that. All he's saying is there's a CIA report that says that it might have happened. A CIA report that their own analysts only gave it medium confidence. And by the way, the military and the National Security Agency gave it no confidence whatsoever and refused to agree with it at all. And even the CIA themselves only gave it medium confidence, which means, eh, could have been, but I don't know, can't prove it, can't disprove it, but I heard it somewhere, means nothing. Means, geez, boss, we ought to keep this in mind for the future, maybe, right? And then, But Savage says, no, no, no. See, all I did was report the fact that there is a rumor. And that is a solid fact. And so the so it ran the, the top of the fold, the front page of the most important newspaper in America, Russians paying Taliban to bounties to kill Americans. And doesn't matter that every Democrat believed it, that everyone on TV repeated it as though it's true, as though the Times had confirmed that this had happened at all. Nope. And he takes no responsibility for anyone else's misinterpretation either. His story is absolutely sound. He can report the fact to you. There's a rumor going around. You know, did mm. you hear? I mean, I don't know that Jimmy and Sally are, you know, cheating on, uh, you know, Susie and Billy. But I can report to you the fact that I heard that somewhere. Now yeah. you go ahead and tell everybody else. No, that's not gossip. That's solid reporting. Get it? 